Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today the star couple Latifa Dimeji and Bimpo Ibadi melt Nigeria's hearts as they celebrate Easter. It's Easter season and Christians all over the world are celebrating. This is the first Easter the couple will be celebrating together. Bimpe was raised in a Christian home and Latif is a faithful Muslim. So these two, though practicing different religion, embraced their religious differences and tied the knot just last year, 2021. During the Nikah wedding ceremony, Bimpe was even given an Islamic name, Brahma Tula. And today, as Christians all over the world are celebrating Easter, the couple is also celebrating together with Christians all over the world, billions of Christians all over the world. And they shared these lovely photos of them, which they tagged, May your Easter basket be full of love, peace, happiness, joyful living, happy Easter from me and mine. This was shared by both Latif and his wife, Bimpu Yebade. It's been a while the couple will share updates of themselves on social media. They kind of don't share so much compared to the first month they got married. Well, today the power couple is melting Nigerian people's hearts. I start commenting on how beautiful the couple looks, how the colors suit their skin, and, and love is a beautiful thing as they're celebrating Easter and wishing everyone a happy Easter. For other recent news on the couple, Latifa Didimiji and Bimpe Ibadi, please stay with us. At the beginning of this year, Bimpe spoke on how she didn't see marrying Latif coming at all. This was when she recounted her 2021 experience. And she said the plan was always to be happy, to do me regardless, and live above inhibitions. But I wasn't prepared for the twist. I prayed for the rain, and then I saw a hurricane. I prayed for the sun, and before I knew it, there was a wildfire. I didn't even know what to believe. So there was all my life, and that's one time. There were people's projects, and trust me to give my all. There were stories on blogs, and I didn't even know how to react. But I started the year 2021 as Miss Uibadi and I ended the year as Mrs. Adidimichi. Believe me, I didn't see that coming. Sometimes in March, it became clear to me that my best friend wanted more. Dude was relentless. He knew what he wanted. And as childish as I was, he was patient. It was a no-brainer. It was a no-brainer. I gave love a chance and today I'm happy for it. This was what she shared when she recounted the experience of the year 2021. Also in the recent news, it was revealed that Latif Adedimeji is playing the main role in the movie The Last Man Standing. This movie is about the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Tinubu. And in an interview with Hatsi the Beat, he revealed that he was prepared for the backlash because of the misconception of people. In his words, there will be a lot of misconceptions, especially with everything that is happening now. If I'm prepared for whatever may happen because I'm only doing my job because of issue. When I was told about this project, my first response was that I was not interested in playing the role. Politics can be scary. And it is something that I've always tried to avoid. Tinubu is not a mere politician. He is very popular and well regarded. Also, there are many controversies happening at the same time. And this biopic will be released at the peak of all this. But I also believe it will be another stretch for me as an actor. I'm taking this because I want to challenge myself again. I want to see how far I can push myself again. He also wanted to note that he believes the role will be one of the defining moments of his career. He stated that though he had never met the man Tinubu in person, he has already done a lot of research on him and was ready to give his best. As he had that acting as a real person that is still living is always scary. It is a different bargain if the person is no longer around. But this is somebody that is alive. He would most likely watch one act as in, and if one does not get his right, he would say so eventually. It is a lot of work. I have to study his mannerisms, the way he talks, the way he moves, and even how he smiles, and try to replicate that. And he concluded this interview with admonishing people to watch this biopic with open minds. People will always have diverse opinions, but he feels it is important for people to know that terrible things can be said about a person, but they should take time to find out the truth about that individual. Also in another news, there were rumors that Bimpe was pregnant for the star actor Latifa Dedimeji before they got married. They even said this was what sped up the process of their wedding ceremony. But then, since they got married in December, Bimpe has been flaunting her stomach and showing the public 
and also addressing this news that she was pregnant. She keeps telling people that she was not pregnant before they got married. And in a recent question and answer to fans on Instagram, she opened up about her life, especially about her marriage to the star actor. And contrary to those claims by truth, Pimpe said that she got married not because she was pregnant, but because she wanted to get married to Latifa Dedewichi. This was the question the person asked, Sisi, how do you feel when those truths were saying you got married because you're pregnant? And she replied, shows slash bullies do not have a fake life. I'm too blessed to stress about that. Also, in another interview, Bimba revealed how her life has been since she got married to the star actor Latifa Dedemetri. This was in an interview with Saturday Beats. And she said, life has been more beautiful for me since I got married. My husband is also an entertainer, hence we understand each other. Life begins after marriage. I would advise younger ladies to note that life does not end when one gets married. If one has a supportive partner or husband and one knows what one is doing, everything should be fine. Marriage is a beautiful thing and it should not harm one's career. This is what she said. And speaking about the work she has done since she got married, she said I have a lot of movies out there at the moment. Movies that I featured in are practically uploaded on YouTube every week. I just completed the production of my movie titled Dolapo Douglas. This is said to be released in April on Netflix and probably the cinemas. The movie is a true life story mixed with fiction. It is about a passionate police officer who went after some hardened criminals that were causing havoc in the society. One day, he had an accident which resulted in memory loss. The criminals used to go after them, brought him to their side and he became a dangerous criminal. Most times I get inspiration from my immediate environment and the larger society. I'm also a business I have a clothing and food to a brand called Adi Fits. I'm also into modeling, as well as being a presenter. As my leisure and enjoy reading, I write a lot. I love cooking, watching movies, listening to music. My favorite artists are Whiskey Falls, David Do, Tiwa Savage, Fireboy, Simi, and Adi Kunle Gould. So she did reveal a lot about herself in this short interview with Saturday Beats. This is a very recent interview. And these are some of the recent news on the star actors that Tiva did major and Bingwe. But we have come to the end of this episode where Tiva did major and Bingwe not in Jones hat as they celebrate this Easter and wishing everyone and their fans all over the world happy Easter. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.